I come from a family of movie freaks. So my whole background was watching films and knowing directors and knowing actors. It's just everyone in my family were film oriented. And I used to time stay with my aunt who was a night owl just like I was. And we would watch the late show, the late, late, late show. We'd be up till five in the morning watching films and then go to sleep. And one night when I was eight years old, on the late, late, late show was a film called Panic in Needle Park. And I'll never forget, I'll, I'll never forget that film. And I was eight and I thought, I wanna make movies. After seeing that, it was just, it was indelible. I've started off trying to make other films that end up being different films. Like one thing leads you to another and it's almost like you're not directing in a way, something else is directing you. I mean, I've had so many experiences where <laughs> I've gone, okay, what is, it, it's almost like um, Providence. Something comes in and, and completely destroys what it is you set out to do and then makes you do the film I guess you're supposed to do. I'd like to feel like we're in a just society and that everyone matters. Um, and if that's the case, then we need to hear from everybody. And more often than not, people who don't have political power, don't have economic power, or are maybe in the shadows somehow, or can't really fully express themselves or be known because of certain things, those are the people that usually suffer the most to me, it's worth it to put the camera, point the camera in their direction and have them feel like they matter.